Hello friend, my name is Danny Walker. Welcome. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the countries that I think should be considered to host Miss Universe next. These are some of my personal dream destinations, but be sure to vote for yours below or let me know if I missed a country that you think should be considered. There are a few that I would love to have on this list, but I did not include them because they have hosted in recent years during the IMG era. So we're going to talk about some countries that we haven't seen for a while. First, the Bahamas. Okay, this one obviously, selfish reason here, selfish. I love the Bahamas. I will take any excuse to go to the Bahamas, right? It just If I'm gonna travel, I might as well be going to the Bahamas. So the Bahamas is where they used to host the Miss Teen USA competition. The last time that they hosted that pageant was in 2015 when Keely Graham of South Carolina won the Miss Teen USA title at the Atlantis Resort. If you remember when it was hosted there, the staging seemed quite small, but that was okay. That was for a teen pageant. So that really didn't bother me. I thought it was a great venue for that. I was looking at the Atlantis Resort and it would seem that those are their only large spaces that they have small ballrooms, relatively, just compared to some other event spaces that I've seen or seen other pageants held in. So I do think that they would probably need a different resort. Now, I will say the Atlantis Resort does have a beautiful outdoor area and how fun would that be for a preliminary competition or just something, an event, right? There was a few years ago where they did a, a swimsuit show of the contestants at Miss USA. I wanna say that was 2017. And it was this outdoor by the pool event. And I love things like that. Let's see more of the contestants, let's do it. Actually, yes, they, they did that a couple times. They did that at Miss Universe too. Yes, let's do it. Let's incorporate more sponsors. That's an option, but I'll tell you, I have done a pageant outside. Uh, it was years ago and I thought it was, wow, that would be such a great idea, but ooh, you have natural lighting. In our case, they didn't bring in any extra lights. So you're fighting with the sun and the elements and what it does to your hair, especially in the Bahamas. It, could, it would probably be quite frizzy. So it's probably not the best idea for a finale, but just think about the b-roll footage of the contestants okay hear me out white sand beaches they could be enjoying beautiful resort meals we can see them out and about participating in water sports or other activities we can incorporate this into the show It'd be great for tourism and everybody that goes can also enjoy all of it it'd be such a good time france if you guys watch the channel regularly, you know that I recap Miss France and it is beautiful and it is gorgeous and the things that they put together are outstanding. They're one of the best, if not the best show in pageantry. So what I like about hosting the pageant in France, obviously there's always gonna be pros and cons, but there's a lot of beauty, there's a lot of history. The other thing that we have seen from the Miss France organization, for example, is their capability of hosting shows in numerous regions in the country. So clearly there are venues to host this and that's an issue within itself for any pageant. One thing that this pageant does is they host their shows in the city of the reigning title holder. So this pageant moves from year to year to year in all these different regions. And regardless of the regions, we still see incredible shows. So why not? Let's let them take over Miss Universe and put on a big, grand, beautiful production. But also, like I said, this is a really big travel destination for so many pageant contestants. I, I can't even tell you how many times contestants tell me that they would love to visit Paris one day. And so check the box for that for these ladies. That would be so fun. And I do think that there's a lot of opportunities to really dive deep into exploring the culture of the city and the fashion. That's a whole unique element element that France has that other countries might not have. France, you're on my list. By the way, if you're a pageant contestant that is struggling with their social media and growing it, I have a brand new tool linked in the description. It's called Content Queen. Check it out. Mako, so beautiful. And what I like about this is there's two different vibes. You can either go the historic route or you could go the resort route. So there's two very different ways or possibly both. Uh, I'm not familiar with what city would be the best to host this in, but there's so many options. 
And you can think about places for the resort realm like Tulum, Cancun. Those are really, really beautiful spots that we see influencers travel to all the time. So just imagine once again, the photo opportunities, the beauty of it all, and how this is really gonna attract more contestants. Also, it's such a great place for activities. Think about this. People jumping into cenotes or zip lining or spending time on the beaches. There's just so many, well, depending on where you're at, there's just so many different things that you can do in Mexico. Also the food. I am Mexican, so I, I do love Mexican food. I can just imagine an entire cooking segment where they teach the contestants how to make homemade tortillas. Oh, oh. How fun. Would that be, guys? I can just see this video footage. I think it would be such a great time. Tell me what country you're already thinking of to host, though. Who do you want to see? South Africa. They have to be on this list. Somebody has said before that they haven't hosted it before, and I, I believe that that's correct. I don't believe South Africa has ever hosted Miss Universe. Now, the reason that I really have them on this list, or, well, there are a few reasons. Number one, they have had so much recent success at Miss Universe. Come on. And we've sent quite a few Miss Universe title holders over to South Africa to be a part of the judging for the pageant. They've been incredible hosts. So why not bring the pageant to South Africa? Now, we also have to talk about their ability and their creativity when it comes to hosting shows and pageants. Most notably, I wanna talk about when pageants went virtual and they moved things around and they still made a pageant happen, but in a incredible way, incredible way. You guys can go check out my other episodes where I recapped those final shows and honestly all the coverage of Miss South Africa. But the video packages, the virtual competitions that they put together, the sponsors that they bring in and how they merge that into the show, oh, whoa, whoa. They just seem like a country fit to host Miss Universe. And the other thing is I just wanna give them a round of applause for the quality of their hosts. I mentioned this too for Thailand. I really like their hosts. I think that they did do such a phenomenal job there, but South Africa? Oh my gosh, talent, so much talent. Oh, and I will say the way that they incorporate the arts into their shows too. I didn't even think about that, but there's so many possibilities here. Last on my list is Vietnam. What a beautiful country. I am so jealous because when I was in Thailand, some of my sister queens that were there as well, they ended up going to visit Vietnam. They said it was quite a process though to get a visa when they were already in Thailand, but they still went to do it and they said it was gorgeous. And every time I see video footage and packages of Vietnam from the title holders, I just think, how could I not visit Vietnam in my lifetime? It, it just looks incredible. Also really big, fan of Vietnamese food. One of my best friends growing up in high school was Vietnamese, so I got to experience authentic Vietnamese food after school all the time, and oh, whoa, I wish, I wish I knew how to cook that. It's mm, so tasty. Now I need to go find some, actually. Aside from the amazing food that you know the contestants would be eating at the pageant, we have to think about, too, they have beautiful culture, but there's also really dynamic cities. So we're talking about cities that are rural, that are out in a countryside, but then there's also big cities that, that you would see, major metropolitan areas. So that's another thing. It's like, okay, well, where would you host it then? Do we, do we go with natural beauty or do we go with these incredible cities? And we also have to think there's a lot of culture behind everything that the contestants would see there. If we're talking about rural areas or places outside of the cities, you could take them to waterfalls, caves, bays, mountain areas. There's just, there's so much there. Another thing about this country is that there's a lot of pageant fans. We've seen Vietnam in recent years. Actually, they just won the Miss Grand International title, but we've seen that pageant fans from Vietnam have really been showing their support of their queen. And just like with countries like Thailand, Philippines and Indonesia, they put so much prep into their title holders. It's extensive and it's comprehensive. And so I just love the amount of detail that they put into it. And I've looked at some clips. I haven't gotten the chance to review their national pageant yet, but I have seen some clips of it. And the staging looks incredible. It looks world-class. So why not? Why not Vietnam? Let's do it. Let's host Miss Universe. 
So those are my favorite countries right now, ones that are really on the top of my list to host Miss Universe. As I mentioned, there's a few countries that weren't in this episode, but that's because they've hosted pretty recently. So I thought, let's mix it up a little bit. Thank you so much though for watching this episode. Please leave your episode requests in the comments below. I hope that you remembered to subscribe and that you share the channel and come back for lots more. I'll see you next time.